friends, I hope you had a great weekend, all things considered. No one worked as hard as the Sunday World this past weekend. From breaking the Shona Ferguson news to outing Somizi and his threesomes, we had a lot to deal with. And although we love to kiki at Mohale's weird relationship, domestic abuse is also very much present in celebrity relationships. Let's jump into the real abusers of Celebville. We might as well start with the latest scandal, but because I don't have 500k for a lawsuit, this is another case of alleged abuse. According to Mohale, the abuse started three weeks into their relationship after Somizi pulled out a kitchen knife on Mohale and threatened to butcher both of them if Mohale ever leaves him. Mohale allegedly suffered broken ribs and almost got his front teeth knocked out in another jealousy-fueled incident. Mohale was afraid of Somizi even before their marriage and would do a lot of things just to please Somizi. These things include group sex and threesomes because that is the sort of thing Somizi is rumored to be into. I guess we shouldn't be surprised Mohale has been trying to tell us for some months now. Remember these tweets? Of course, Somizi is denying everything and is going the legal route, but usually where there is smoke, there is fire. Actor Unganin Lovo was in an abusive relationship in 2015 while living in the U.S. His girlfriend at the time would hit him during arguments. They were together for one year and six months, and the actor says the last six months were the worst. Although they finally went their separate ways, he's still dealing with the internal scars that the abuse left him with. He has since moved on with his beautiful wife, Stephanie. One of the most famous cases of abuse was the Bonang and Euphonic situation. Bonang was allegedly beaten black and blue after she stormed out of Euphonic's house and left his gate open. He then followed her to her house to confront her. Over a gate? I don't think so. He jumped in through the window, slept her multiple times, and I quote, kicked her like a football. They broke up and she took out a restraining order against him and the two have been taking shots at each other on social media since then. Amanda Dupont shocked Msansi when she came out and revealed that she had been sexually, emotionally and physically abused by an ex. She never named the ex but because people have PhDs in mathematics, 1 plus 1 is equal to 11. The hints were pointing to her ex-boyfriend Jube Jube. The two dated before he moved on to Kelly Kumalu, who also says Jub Jub beat her up. In Amanda's case, he allegedly raped her multiple times. She says she has since forgiven him and still bumps into him at events. Imagine. Kelly Kumalu claims that not only did Jub Jub introduce her to drugs, he was also cheating and hitting her for the duration of their two-year relationship. He broke a glass in her face, pulled out some of her hair and left her with a bald patch. He would punch her and she even suffered a miscarriage as a result of the abuse. The two eventually had a son called Christian and as with most of these alleged abusers, Jup Jup denies everything, says Kelly loves attention. James Motsamai opened a can of worms when he called his former girlfriend Tolo an evil woman and child kidnapper. According to Tolo, not only is Dingani a deadbeat father, he is an abuser as well. He used to beat her up and torture her emotionally. She had to go through counseling and was traumatized by all the damage he caused. Shoki survived a 10-year marriage from hell at the hands of her ex-husband, Selo. Shoki finally filed for divorce when he beat her up so badly that she had to send a message to her neighborhood WhatsApp group asking them to call the police. The police arrived and escorted him off of the premises. She sustained injuries to her stomach, face, and legs. Sela, for his own part, also admitted guilt and apologized, but it was too late. Moshe and Pelo's own trouble in paradise got exposed after Pelo was allegedly assaulted by Moshe with a candle stand, leading to a bleeding gush on the head that needed stitching. He claimed that Moshe was emotionally abusive, manipulative, and controlling. 
Moshe hit back and said Pelo didn't know how to control his alcohol and he had threatened to beat up his own mother at one point. Hectic. Sisi Twala and Arthur Mafokate's relationship ended on a sour note when Arthur allegedly refused to be broken up with. He actually assaulted her for that. In the altercation, Arthur took her phone and got into his car. Sisi then grabbed the driver's door handle and Arthur drove for 300 meters dragging her along. She got injured so badly she had to have a pelvic replacement procedure. Doctors had also told her that because of the broken pelvic, she would have a hard time carrying a baby to full term. But luckily she was able to overcome that and she had a baby boy in 2019. You know what? All these stories should remind us to stop envying celebrity relationships because people are putting their health on the line just to be couple goals. But anyway, this is the end of the video. Thank you guys for your support. If you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing. See you on the next one.